Franklin S. Van Antwerpen was born in Passaic, New Jersey in October 1941 to Franklin J. and Dorothy Van Antwerpen. Franklin J. was executive director of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers and also a non-governmental delegate to the United Nations. Franklin S., known as Frank, spent his early years in Nutley, New Jersey, attending the Yantikaw Public School through grade six and then Newark Academy. One of his classmates at Yantikaw was a girl named Martha Kostyra. We know her today as Martha Stewart. While at Newark Academy, Frank earned a letter in swimming. He also participated in Glee Club, Dramatics, and the school newspaper, as well as the German Club. He showed a strong interest in science and served as vice president of the science club. Frank met a history teacher, Arthur Nelke Jr., originally from Lewiston, Maine, who graduated from the University of Maine in 1939. Mr. Nelke also served as the school organist and inspired Frank to play the pipe organ. Mr. Nelke's praise for the University of Maine and a family summer vacation spent on Lake McGuntacook in Camden convinced Frank to apply to the engineering physics program at the University of Maine. He considers the years spent at the university as among the best of his life. In his senior year at Maine, Frank made a decision that changed his life. While a resident counselor in Cumberland Hall, he was inspired by Owen Wells, class of 1965, and Dan Woodman, class of 1964, to apply to law school. Frank was accepted at Temple Law School in Philadelphia. Frank's engineering studies at UMaine prepared him well for law school. At the end of his first year, he was made a justice of the school's moot court. He was also a member of the Phi Alpha Delta Law Fraternity and was instrumental in leading the fraternity to admit women. Upon earning his Juris Doctor degree, Frank began his career as corporate counsel for Hazeltine Corporation in New York City. While at Hazeltine, he met and married Kathleen O'Brien. They had three children, and Franklin W. graduated from UMaine in 1998. In 1970, Frank decided to leave the corporate world to enter public service, taking a job as a legal aid lawyer in Easton, Pennsylvania. The work was hard, but very worthwhile. Two years later, he entered private practice, becoming a partner in the firm of Hemstreet, Smith, and Van Antwerpen. He was also the municipal lawyer for Palmer Township, where he played a key role in bringing water and sewage systems, along with a bikeway and new municipal building to the township. In 1979, a group of citizens approached Frank to run for county judge. After careful consideration, he decided to run. He ran a tireless campaign, ultimately winning the support of both parties. Frank was elected to a 10-year term on the Northampton County Court of Common Pleas. Early on, Frank showed special skill in criminal matters and helped rewrite the Pennsylvania Domestic Relations Code. Soon, Frank was encouraged to apply to be a federal judge. In 1987, his was one of three names sent to Washington, D.C., and he was interviewed by the Attorney General of the United States. Frank's nomination to be a federal judge on the trial court in Philadelphia came from President Ronald Reagan. Because of his extensive criminal experience on the state court, Frank was asked to preside over the biggest case that had ever confronted the courts in Philadelphia, involving all 17 members of the Philadelphia Mafia. Frank agreed to take on the task. For the next two years, most of Frank's time was spent dealing with this case. The government presented a strong case. The racketeering charges involved many murders, extortions, bribes, and other illegal activities. After a five-month-long trial, all defendants were found guilty by an anonymous jury, and Frank ultimately sentenced them all to maximum terms. Because of his exemplary work, the first President Bush nominated Frank to the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit, which is the second highest court in the United States. Because of party politics, Frank was not given a hearing at this time. Under George W. Bush's presidency, Frank was renominated and confirmed. Two of Frank's colleagues on the court left to take other positions. Samuel Alito became a justice of the United States Supreme Court, and Michael Chertoff became head of Homeland Security. Federal judges are appointed for life, and Frank continues to serve as a circuit judge. He now takes a reduced caseload to allow him to travel 
and to spend time with his children and grandchildren. Frank says, exactly how I went from studying physics and electrical engineering to where I am now is still a bit of a mystery as I look back, but I know that my years at the University of Maine played a big role in preparing me for my life's work, and I still return to Maine whenever I can. Congratulations, Your Honor, on this most deserving honor. The University of Maine Alumni Association's 2009 Career Award.